Army beat Navy this week, 19-13, in Fort Meade's 18th annual Army-Navy flag football game. Rain made playing conditions sloppy, but it didn't stop the Army from taking back the trophy and claiming their third victory in four years. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spen. Also this week, 175th Cyber Ops breaks ground. Electronics recycling event coming up. More on the impending blended retirement system. These stories and more, but first some traffic news. Starting Monday, November 20th, a road circuit will be closed on post from 6.30 to 7.30 in the morning, Monday through Friday. If you start at the intersection of 6th Street and Chisholm Avenue, the circuit runs south to 1st Street, east along 1st Street to Chamberlain Avenue, north on Chamberlain to 6th Street, and west back to Chisholm Avenue. All cross streets, with the exception of 4th Street, will be closed. Anyone trying to access the 780th Military Intelligence Brigade headquarters needs to use the crossing at 4th Street and Chisholm. In other news, the Maryland National Guard's 175th Cyberspace Operations Group broke ground last week on a new facility for the 175th Cyber Operations Squadron. The building is being constructed just behind the defense media activity on Taylor Avenue. Maryland Governor Larry Hogan was on hand for the ceremony. He talked about Maryland and Fort Meade leading the way in cyberspace. No state is better equipped or better positioned than Maryland uh, to address the rapidly emerging and evolving cybersecurity challenges facing our nation and the world. Uh, today, we are bolstering Maryland's leadership even further as we break ground on this much needed and much anticipated facility to support the state of Maryland and the Cyber Mission Force. Today is the ultimate reminder of the power of what happens when multiple organizations can come together to achieve a greater good. And that greater good is the generation of capability for our nation and our allies around the world that will help ensure our ability to operate within cyberspace. Fort Meade is a core part of that effort. I want to thank the garrison for the hard work that they put in to make this happen. I very much want to thank the state of Maryland, the National Guard, our congressional teammates who are kind enough to appropriate the funds that make all of this possible, and the broader men and women who are going to be able to use this facility to generate outcomes that are going to help this nation. The 175th executes a defensive federal mission protecting Air Force and U.S. infrastructure against cyber attack, along with a state mission to assist state and local government. The 175th's new facility has a projected completion date of autumn 2018. Meanwhile, a couple of reminders before we close. First, in recognition of America Recycles Day, Fort Meade is hosting another electronic recycling and data destruction event November 29th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the commissary parking lot. That gives you plenty of time to gather up all your unwanted electronics and computer gear. Most items are accepted free of charge. Some items do incur a disposal fee. These include CRT computer monitors and TVs, backup batteries, computer hard drives, and other storage media. If you have any questions, contact the Directorate of Public Works, Environmental Division. MWR News Club Meet is hosting a Veterans Job Fair Wednesday, November 15th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. More than 60 employers are expected to attend. The job fair is open to the public. The resume doctor will also be on hand. For all the details, go to www.mead.armymwr.com. And finally this week, we continue with our series of videos highlighting the new blended retirement system that takes effect January 1st. All right, I'm looking at it. I got 2.5 times 20 times 3. What do you got? Negative. I thought it was 2.0 times 20 times 3. No. Uh, all right, we got to get this right, so give her a call. Robin 1, reach 729er. Robin 1, go ahead. Yes, ma'am. Reach 729er. What's the calculation for the defined benefit? Reach 729er. Question understood. Be advised that if you're in the legacy or a high three retirement plan, your multiplier is 2.5% times years served times your high three rate. If you switch from legacy into the blended retirement system, your multiplier is 2.0% times years served times high three. But you also receive automatic and matching contributions to your thrift savings plan, right? So it's 2.5% for high three and it's 2.0% for the BRS. Plus, you get automatic and matching government contributions to your TSP over. Reach 729 or copy off. Appreciate the help, ma'am. Anytime, gentlemen. Robin one out. Blue skies, fellas. Blue skies. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great Veterans Day weekend and a great Mead Week.